Sometimes I hear about resistance to updating to the latest version of BikeCAD Pro. The issue is that some have invested a lot of time in customizing their copy of the program. They've got their logo in the title block. They've got a few dimension templates to lay out preferred arrangements of dimensions. There'll be title block templates to effectively display a bike both with and without wheels. And they may have libraries of various saddles, handlebars, forks, and other components. All these settings will be stored in the previous BikeCAD configuration directory. I've described earlier how all these settings could be copied out of the older directory and pasted into the new one. While this process isn't overly complicated, it is still enough of a nuisance that some will put it off. For those looking for the easiest way to bring your settings over from an older version, be aware that you can simply rename your configuration folder from an earlier version to the latest version number. For example, here I have BikeCAD 20.5 configuration. If I rename this folder to BikeCAD 20.6 configuration, all my old settings will be picked up by the new version of BikeCAD. Although located elsewhere in earlier versions, as of BikeCAD version 20.5, all BikeCAD configuration folders for both Mac and PC are found in the user directory. When BikeCAD is launched, it always checks the user directory for the latest configuration folder. If it is not found, a new one will be extracted and placed there. The only differences between the configuration folders for version 20.1 and 20.6 are the addition of the Specialized Power Expert saddle and the Surly Truck Stop handlebar. That and the No Dimensions template from 20.1 will not turn off the few dimensions that were added to version 20.6.